Okay, so the more visitors we get in the room, the more money we all make. Can everybody show me their hands if they agree with that? Mm, sort of total half buy-in. I'm not really going to be believing you, so let's put that to the test. Okay, if you have had a referral at any point in B&I uh, from David or from Ray or from Laura or from Dowie or from Daniel Whitaker or from D, show me your hand. From Daniel at any point in B&I. Had a referral. Had a referral from Daniel Whitaker at any point in B&I. <laughs> Have you? <laughs> from me? Um. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you try this, don't you? You try this. <laughs> Point being, okay, have you had a referral from anybody in this room? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. There's always one. There's always one. Well, that's it's a tough audience. It's a tough crowd. It's early. Well, that's good because everybody in this room was a visitor to B&I at one point. And if that person hadn't been brought, you would not have any of those referrals. So, can we all agree that the more visitors we get in B&I, the more money we all make? Yes, thank you. That's better. Right. So why aren't we all inviting visitors every week? <coughs> Don't worry, that's a rhetorical question. That's a rhetorical question. Thank you, Colin. Why aren't we all inviting visitors every week? It's because, well, it's, it's hard sometimes. It's difficult to have a conversation, to go up to somebody and go, you're right, Do you fancy coming along to be an eye? <laughs> and then get that awful rejection. It's like when you ask somebody out in school and they say no. <laughs> Nobody likes that. And of course, some people don't have the time to do it. They haven't got time to be asking visitors. They don't meet anybody. Maybe they deal in their business with people who don't have businesses, so they can, they're ineligible to be invited to B&I. That could be your problem as well. There's lots of reasons why you might not be inviting visitors. So what if I showed you a way where you can invite visitors that takes you five minutes, you can get 10 visitors, and you haven't even got to put your pants on. <laughs> that doesn't mean, Colin, you've got to take your pants off. <laughs> But if they are off, you haven't got to put them back on, okay? My visitor's right next to me, you know. I know. <laughs> I know. Just let's make things clear. My pants were fully on when I invited him. <laughs> I apologise. He, he does have a rep. I apologise. His, his pants are on today. So, hands up anybody who's on Facebook. It's pretty much everybody. And if you're not, it is free to join, so you can do it yourself. Okay, those people who are on Facebook, who is in some kind of Facebook group? Everybody's in a Facebook group. And at some point, has anybody in a Facebook group who you've seen talked about their business, what they do, their services, or maybe even shared a post from their business page? Those are all potential visitors. Those are all potential visitors, because they are in that Facebook group because they want more clients, they want more business, they want more sales, they want more leads. They want exactly what B&I gives them. They just don't know about it yet. But how do you invite them? Well, you could comment on their post and say, you fancy coming along to B&I next week? It's a weekly meeting where we all meet up and pass referrals. I think you might get lots of business out of it. I wouldn't do that. Because then you're going to get people who've been to B&I commenting on it saying, that's a load of <laughs> That doesn't work. Nobody wants to see that. Don't do it publicly. See, Kieran's fainted in the sun. <laughs> Much better way, click on their profile, go through to their profile page and send them a message. Now, word of warning, if you're not connected with them, it'll be a message request, so they're not likely to see it for a couple of days because Facebook filters this sort of stuff. But they will get it. Send them a message. And what could you say to them in this message? How about, would you like to come along to a B&I meeting? It's a weekly meeting where we come along every Thursday. Thursday morning, we meet lots of business owners, and in the last six months, we've passed however much business, so we'll tell you later. How many referrals we've passed, so we'll tell you later. It's really great, I get lots of my business from there, would you like to come along? That's not going to work. Because all I did there was talk about me, and talk about my B&I, and what we've done. Have you ever been to a networking event where somebody just talks about themselves? Or been on a date where somebody just talks about themselves? It's boring, isn't it? It's really boring. What do people want to hear about? Yeah. Them. Them. Exactly. So you need to use the word you. You. I saw you posting in a Facebook group looking for more business. Would you like to come along to a business meeting where you can talk to a load of other business owners about what you do, who you do it for, 
why you do it, what you're looking for, and how they can help you get more business. If I can get you an invite, would you like to come along to the next meeting to talk about your business and promote your business? What word did I use mostly there? You. you. Because people want to hear about you. Now, if everybody can commit to doing something like that five minutes a week, we'll all have loads of visitors next week. And we'll all have loads more money. Who wants more money? Fantastic. <coughs> if you're one of those people thinking, I haven't got five minutes to do this, Darren. I'm far too busy. I haven't got five minutes to be spending time doing this. There's a virtual assistant company there. <laughs> Give Laura a referral, she'll do it for you. If your time's too busy, she'll be happy to do it for you. And I will even make it easier. I will send out an email after this meeting with all the different scripts you can use and just copy and paste them into messages. So you haven't even got to think for yourself. So we're all going to get loads of visitors in the next few weeks? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.